How come I don't qualify for the property tax exclusion when I sold my mother's primary residence in probate? Well, that's a mouthful, but you really want to know this answer and we're going to get into that next. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brendan Moore, Realtor and Certified Probate and Trust Specialist by the California Association of Realtors. And I'm Bill Heyman. I'm a licensed California professional fiduciary as well as a licensed California real estate broker and a registered and bonded California legal document assistant specializing in probate and trust administration. Now please like this video, subscribe right now. Want a no cost probate service? Well, every day we help people save thousands of dollars and eliminate headaches with our one of a kind probate administration service and real estate listing combo. If it's in California and real estate needs to be sold, you may qualify. So please reach out, even if you've started with somebody else or on your own. Our info is in the about section on this channel. We love your calls, texts, emails, and comments. Now let's get into it. So the parent to child property tax reassessment exclusion when it comes to selling a house in probate. Some people are wondering, you know, why didn't I qualify for this? Right. And that, that can be a serious thing. Yeah, it's, it's money. It's yeah. a lot of money if you don't you can't qualify for it. So yeah, it is something to be concerned about. But essentially on February 16th of 2021, Proposition 19 was passed, which affected this whole thing. So it's actually pretty simple. If someone died prior to February 16th, 2021, and their home went through probate, it was their primary residence, and the home is sold, and the children are the heirs to the estate they qualified for this exclusion, which eliminated the dreaded supplemental unsecured property tax bill, which would normally come. And that helped a lot of families. But after February 16th, 2021, when Prop 19 went into effect, it got changed. So now the only way that the children could qualify for this exemption is if they lived in mom's house after she passed away and it was probated and, and it was their primary residence. It's the only way they could qualify for it. Sadly, most of the time, that's not the case nowadays. And it's a great deal for the county property tax collectors because they're making a lot more money now, but it's really a bad deal for the public. Yeah, it, that can have some serious effects on the family overall, what their inheritance is. And they may even have a very slim margin of what the house is sold to yeah. how much they have. I, I have a, a case going on in Contra Costa County right now where this situation happened. And essentially there, there wasn't a whole lot of money left over after the sale of the probate home. And the estate received a bill for almost $9,800 in supplemental property tax bills because of this. And that's gonna, unfortunately, it's going to take up most of the money that was left over from the sale. And so the heirs to the estate, which are the children, aren't gonna receive that much because of this change in the law. And really it's going to get worse as time goes on here because we've seen this a fair amount where we're starting something, we're starting a probate and the decedent passed away 20 years ago. Yeah. So it's just gonna get worse where people are going to get many tens of thousands yep. of dollars. Yep. Possibly they're, there's ones that I've seen where people have waited so long to start probate, they're going to get a supplemental property tax bill in the six figures maybe. I mean, there's, there's some serious cases like that. Now that's gonna be a rare case, but it goes into what we've talked about in a lot of, a lot of our videos. There's a lot of great reasons to start probate quickly. Yeah, start it um, early. You really wanna start it early. If a child isn't going to essentially buy that home or take over that home and uses a primary residence especially, start that process quickly absolutely absolutely it, it will just help to minimize this but this tax penalty really is what i i consider it i, I of course wish prop 19 had never been passed but mm -hmm. it passed and now the uh, counties are getting a lot more money and the families aren't yeah that's now. the case yeah. anything more you'd like to elaborate on this no part? just just that people should you know be aware of this that if the children of the decedent are not going to occupy the probate home as their primary residence, then you're, you're gonna face this. Yeah, so get on it very quickly. And we have a great video to help you save money in probate, uh, which includes getting on it quickly. There's a great video called Saving Money in Probate Tricks and Tips. It's going to be linked next, it's gonna appear right over my face.